Hey guys, I am back to do my boxy charm for this month. I am super excited about this boxy charm. I did get a little sneak peek of it, and I am super excited. This box is twenty-one dollars a month, so it is a little bit more of an investment than Ipsy or Sephora Play. But in this box, you get four to five full-size items versus deluxe size samples so let's jump right in so the first thing that i see is this alipure um, time repair serum now i love serums they just help hydrate and plump your skin and this one is a time repair one so it's going to help with fine lines and wrinkles so I'm excited about that. I don't have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles because I am only 24, but prevention is the key, guys. Prevention is the key. So then we have a DLS Matte Liquid Lipstick. This looks like a Mickey Mouse red. I'm not sure if I'd be able to wear this. Yeah, that's like a very orangey red. So, that's the liquid lipstick. I'm going to let it dry and see um, if it's like smudge resistant. Some liquids... Uh, some liquid lipsticks aren't necessarily... Uh, stay all day or um, non fudge, non smudge um, liquid lipstick. So I'm going to let that dry and then come back to it. Then we have a Max Lush Volumizer Mascara by, by Dulce. I haven't tried this one before. It doesn't sm have like a chemically smell. It has a big wand. Um, we'll see what it does. I already have done my mascara today and I didn't use this one. But I, I'm super particular about mascaras and I have a few that I've been trying. Um, and I just threw out like two today. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. See how it works with my eyelashes. I like volumizing as well as lengthening and thickening, so yeah, it's hard to find. <laughs> so this is a shadow stick by Beauty For Real. It's a shimmery stick. It would be nice um, right here. It's just a very light nude shimmery. I think this would be nice for the inner corners, um, under the brow possibly, depending if you like a more of a shimmery highlight under the brow. You could probably use it as a highlight as well if you're a pale princess like me. Um, but I typically don't like shadow sticks. Once again, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to do a test and see if it smudges because I don't like shadow sticks that don't dry down completely and that move and crease I, I can't deal with that so we'll see the longevity of this so this is one of the things that I was looking for to the most it was the um, what was it sneak peek and that is the Blush and Bronzer Mini Palette by Coastal Scents. It's super cute. So when you open it up, a matte bronzer, a shimmer bronzer, a highlight, and then you have like a, um, I would call this like a berry color, and then a pink. Um, and I'll swatch these for you guys. They are a little, they're pigmented, but they are a little hard. So keep that in mind. 
This highlight honestly isn't really a highlight on me. It doesn't even show up. It's like my exact same skin tone. Um, there isn't much shimmer to it. It's more of a matte highlight right here. Let's do the bronzer. The matte bronzer kind of reminds me of the Chocolate Soleil bronzer by um, Too Faced. So that's the matte bronzer right here, and then that's the shimmer. It's a pretty good palette. I'm excited to try it. Um, so that's what it looks like again. So those are some big pieces. Um, let's see. So the palette was $13.95 plus $6. I assume that would be shipping. Um, the repair serum was $48.00. The um, matte, Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick was $10. The Dulce Cosmetics Mascara was $22. And the For Real Beauty um, Shadow Stick was $19. So overall, you get all your money back in this box because it's only $21 a month. And that's well over... over a hundred dollars of product in this box so that's really awesome um so yeah the liquid lipstick doesn't really smudge i'm not rubbing it too hard but you can see it did come off on my fingers a little bit um not too bad but it does smudge just a little bit and it's been drying for a while um the this though I'm impressed with the shadow stick it didn't budge at all right here um, so yeah that's really awesome so I will definitely be doing using this in later videos um, the liquid lipstick uh, it is a very bright um, <laughs> Mickey Mouse red it looks like Mickey Mouse I'm not really a huge fan of Mickey Mouse but anyway that is my review of BoxyCharm this month. Overall, I really love this box. I say this every month, pretty much. BoxyCharm is totally worth the price if you're really into makeup. If you're more into skincare, go with um, Glossy Box, which is the same price. It just focuses more on skincare. BoxyCharm focuses more on makeup and hair care, I want to say. So, bye. Thank you for watching my review. And like, comment, and sub sub subscribe. I can never say subscribe. Down below. Right there. <laughs> bye, guys.